What I always love about an AFRI event is that it is a coming together of artists and activists and academics. And it's a mix of the spiritual and the political and the hopeful. Each of us in this room knows that on Gorta Moor was the greatest social calamity in terms of mortality and suffering that Ireland has ever experienced. In all of the many studies on the famine over the past number of years, the salient facts of the calamity are never in dispute. Of the numbers who died, the numbers who were displaced and forced to emigrate on disease-ridden ships, of the callous economic policies that not only helped create conditions of the famine, but held it in place. The first part of the theme for this year's walk is famine is a lie. Not in the sense that it didn't happen, but in the sense that it didn't need to happen. We have all heard the accounts during the famine of ships carrying relief from England, passing ships sailing out of Ireland with cargoes of wheat and beef to be sold for prices out of reach to the starving population. Hunger is not a natural phenomenon. It is a man-made tragedy. People do not go hungry because there is not enough food to eat. They go hungry because the system which delivers food from the fields to our forks is broken. So famine is not only a lie. Famine is a failure. It is a failure to prevent, a failure to act, a failure to learn, and most importantly, a failure to the people who suffer and die. War, a brutal testament to human conflict, shatters lives and communities, leaving scars that persist for generations. We must acknowledge that peace is not merely the absence of war, but the presence of justice, equality, and understanding. Let us unite to promote diplomacy, dialogue, and mutual respect. For it is through peaceful means that we can eradicate the roots of violence and the crime called war. The effects of war can be far-reaching and have a significant impact on individuals, societies, and the environment. With the right priorities and a more just and peaceful world, the millions of dollars in global military spending could be channeled toward fighting hunger and reducing homelessness in the world, or perhaps even reducing the unquantified carbon footprint of military activities on the environment. But it is not enough to simply acknowledge these issues. We must act. We must invest in education, reduce hunger and homelessness, empower communities, and engage in constructive dialogue. We must promote peace and prioritize the well-being of our planet and its inhabitants over short-term business gains. Today we have the power to make a difference. Together, let us be catalysts for change, champions for justice, and guardians of our planet. The path ahead is not easy, but with determination, compassion, and collaboration, we can create a world free from hunger and the ravages of war. In 1649 to St. George's Hill, a ragged band they called the diggers came to show the people's will. They defied the landlord, they defied the law. They were the dispossessed reclaiming what was theirs. We've come in peace, they said, to dig and sow. We've come to work the land in common and to make the wastelands grow. This earth divided, we will make coal, so it can be a common treasury for all. The sin of property we do disdain. No man has any right to buy and sell the earth for private gain. By theft and murder, they steal the land. Now everywhere the walls rise up at their command. 
They make the laws to chain us well. The clergy does a loss with heaven, or they dumb us into hell. We will not worship the gods they serve, the god of greed who feeds the rich while poor men starve. We work, we eat together, we need no swords. We will not bow to the masters, our parents to the lords. We are free men, though we are poor. You diggers all stand up for glory, stand up now. From the man of property, the order came. They sent the hired men and troopers to wipe out the diggers claim. Dare down their cotton. Cottages, tear down their cores, they were dispersed, but still the diggers carries on. You poor take courage, you rich take care. This earth was made a common treasury for everyone to share all things in common. All people won. We come in peace, the order came to cut them down. I'm a member of the Good Friday Implementation Committee. In recent months, we've heard speeches in both houses of the Oireachtas eloquently outlining the preciousness and indispensability of peace and all the benefits Ireland has accrued since the agreement was signed. However, what I do find confusing and a little bit disturbing is to see many of those same politicians engage in what I would call a concerted campaign against Irish neutrality, and it is very, very worrying. Actually, there's a small group of what I would call militaristic politicians and journalists that are dominating the conversation on Irish neutrality, even though polling consistently shows their position is a profoundly unpopular one. This is something that I don't know if you're aware of, about the new forum on Irish neutrality, which is been led or has been, or has been the idea of the Tanish and Michael Martin and it just feels it's a managed process with a foregone conclusion. Like we have to ask the question, why have they pulled together this forum instead of using the established proven process of a citizens assembly? It seems clear to me the government is interested in skewing public opinion rather than reflecting it. And I just that's something that we need to really think about. The idea of increasing uh, government spending on weapons and war machines when so many people in Ireland experience poverty and deprivation is obscene and very worrying. I believe that money should be directed towards public services and the people who most need it, not the arms manufacturers, which what I believe have put on their hands. Come on, you Sitting by the fire 
the clear daylight till the dawn. And I never will be able for to Queen of England, she would call for me in time and place me in a regiment all in my youth and my prime. I would fight for. Till the dawn, and I never will return again for to. Burn.